Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday. Hopefully, it's a beautiful way you are. It is gorgeous here in New York. Hope everybody's enjoying the great pre market that we're having. Good to see you. Good to see you, Brian. Good to see you all. Ken, good to see you. Chuck, Mike, everyone. Gene, Jack, everyone. Grant. All right, cool, everyone. So, uh, let me tell you, I love hump day. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays have been great. We had a great day yesterday. You know, not as exciting as a Monday. Tomorrow's Friday, so we got to make the best of it. But uh, we're doing pretty damn well with this one stock right here. What a great short on the homes. Uh, got to give a big shout out to my buddy there, Ken Thal. Just like we were just kind of talking earlier that we think the same. We sure do, Ken. Listen, after a while, that's the whole game, right? Let's give him a round of applause. Did pretty well on that short with me on this home trade. And you know what's so funny? I'm looking on my level four, and there's a huge buyer uh, sitting right at I see like 11,000 share buyer right around 1068, which is, uh, it hit a little bit lower than that, but uh, the big buyer is coming in right now, and that's why you see the stock starting to get a little uptick right there. You can see here on the chart, kind of making a little bit of an uptick uh, right there, but what a great winner. I mean, I know a bunch of us probably made like uh, between 50 and 80 cents on that short, eight o'clock. You could see it right there, right around the, the $12. It had this little spike and just came right back down. It is so critical. You have to know where the orders are. Um, you know, I spoke to, we got a, a bunch of new members, uh, actually not even trial members, new students. They just overwhelmed. Um, one student didn't want to kind of like, was a little kind of a, a embarrassed, didn't want to, you know, be introduced yet, but he's been doing this for 10 years. Okay. And he said, he's, uh, you know, I'm just embarrassed to say I've, I've taken so many damn courses from people. He goes, I just can't understand why nobody talks about level three. I, I, I everyone talks about their crystal ball. You know their, um, their, the, you know their, their, their indicator, their book, their tool, and it's like. And meanwhile, I come in your room, and it's like, I, now it makes perfectly sense where these orders come from. Well, you know, I always tell everyone, you know, I'm great that I'm glad that you went out there, you spent some money, you learned from a few people, but sometimes it takes a couple of times before you really know, uh, find the right person to do it. It's like it's like a doctor, right? You know, how many times have you guys, you know, um. You know, knock on wood, and hopefully it's never happened to anybody, but, you know, you're very ill, and you go into doctors, and they can't give you an answer, and sometimes you got to travel around the country, if not around the world, and like, oh, my God, this is the guy that actually knows how to do it. Well, you know, so, listen, a lot of people think they know how to day trade. doesn't mean they know how to day trade. Uh, they want to day trade, but you got to learn from the professionals. Anyway, you know that's our forte, and, you know, and that's why <laughs> – it's a very exclusive club right here, and that's why we guys do great. But that was great on that trade. But we had a lot of other ones that did pretty well. And I want to talk about yesterday, too, before we go through the watch list, okay? Great, great winners. How about the GameStop? Listen, go back to the recordings, and, and you see this on YouTube. I told you about GameStop on the short. And you know who taught me about this? Sometimes you got to listen to your kids, okay? Listen, once like I said, once, once uh, Microsoft... Got rid of the DVDs and started going, you know, DD wireless. You know, no DVDs. You got to buy the game. Stock was a great short. I talked about this last month in the stock when it took a big hit right here around ten dollars. Or, or I'm sorry, could have even been before that. Could have been when sixteen it dropped here. It, it could have been that far. Well, anyway, as a goof, we I bought I shorted in the stock. He didn't, you know, kid didn't know what shorting meant. And then meanwhile, he make he made more money than me on that stock. So, but anyway, it was a great overall. It was a great short, even though if you didn't get it. Um, it was a great short yesterday, right into the right into the open, right at nine thirty. Thing just dropped from from five five seventy five, only down like five bucks. That was like that was like taking candy from a little kid. That one was great. PV uh, PVTL was also a nice one that we had yesterday. Another phenomenal short. I mean, it was a short day everywhere. Look at that stock get crushed from nineteen down to fourteen. Who never whoever thought it was going to go even lower than that. Thing goes from thirteen all the way down to ten. See ya. All right. So anyway, there was a there was a couple other ones too I want to keep an eye on too. But uh, the good ones, guys, Uber, we killed it, killed it. Listen, once Uber broke seventy uh, forty five, it was off to the races. So we're doing great on the swing trade. Yes, everybody here, we do swing trade here also. And why we swing trade? Because we're very good day traders. And there's sometimes you can't really day trade a stock, but you can swing trade it. But you got to know what's going to happen over the course of the day. You know, yes, we wish we still had it when it dropped down to 36, but you know what? Buying it at 39 is really not that bad either. 
where it's where now. So as long as we hover above that 45, we're being pretty safe. We're looking pretty good. I like that stock for the long term. And then PCG, I don't know where this hell that came from in the afternoon. This thing just took off from 2 o'clock. We're from 19 to 21. I mean, I haven't seen that in a while. But PCG also came from nowhere. So that was also a great one. So anyway, that was, oh, we got a couple other ones too. And that's right, uh, Kevin. I can't forget the, uh, the, I, the IFRX. Yes, absolutely. Which, by the way, that is going back on my watch list today. You maybe jumped the gun. Um, I was going to talk about that this morning. Because um, it, 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 this stock also looks like it might bottom out here a little bit. So the only thing, I say this all the time, and I'll repeat it over and over again. When you're dealing with pharmaceutical stocks, anything in the, uh, the healthcare industry, and they get crushed like this, okay, they don't come back. All right? And this right here is a classic overnight you know, uh, manslaughter. I mean, you know, this is D-Day at its worst, you know? This is what scares people. I really, actually, I feel bad for anyone who ever owned the stock. I mean, this is just, you know, you think you got a great company, you know, oh, I don't trade stocks under $10, but guys hovering, holding the stock for a year, hovering around 30, 50, 30, wakes up next morning, thinks it's worth three bucks. That is just, it's just, that's sad. It's really sad, you know? I, I don't wish this on anybody, you know, it's just, this, this will destroy you. But you know what? That's why you can't put all the eggs in one basket. But there could be an opportunity to average down. That's the beauty of it. All right. So what do we got going to this morning? So the great winner, we a couple of stocks that did uh, doing pretty well is CTRV. Let's go go through the watch list. That one's doing moving pretty nicely. This one is just moving all over the place, up 130% already. Stock right here is testing resistance levels. I'm seeing a lot of big orders jumping into this stock right here on my level four. Um, on this one, on the level three version, you know, there's a couple of hundreds, but I have another, you, you know, we talked about this in phase three. I'm seeing a lot more of the orders uh, popping up on different ECNs. So stock has been pretty strong. We're going to put this one on our watch list. Let me change the time frame because five minutes is not really, you know, what we're, what, what's going to help us. The only bad thing you got to watch out, stock's got very big spread, Okay. Uh, the SFIX is going back on the watch list because, you know, the stock had a nice, nice run up right here, up 26%, half a million shares. She's backing off, but she's holding from yesterday's after hours. So if she holds right there, that stock could be a good one. BTVT, a blast from the past. Everybody remember this stock, guys? Back in October of last year, ran from a dollar to about $6, and it did it in two days. Listen. That could happen. And you know what? It happens to here all the time. So anyway, uh, let's keep an eye on this VTVT. Go back to your journals. If you do your homework the way you were trained, see how you traded it, see how you did. Um, hopefully you wrote good notes on that stock so you know exactly how to get in and out of it. Uh, the IFRX, once again, that's a stock that got destroyed. I'm going to put that on a watch list because you might, you might get a little bottom fish right there. A lot of orders in that stock, which helps us out. MTFB, another one that's moving. All right, this stock is also getting destroyed, okay? Uh, just think when you own it at 10, it goes down to a dollar. It comes back. You think you average down. Eh, not doing too well. Once again, look at the name. Kind of answers it for itself, down 47%. Uh, the, the GameStop, once again, another one I want to put on the watch list. This is not a pharmaceutical stock, but it does got some major support levels here around 480. Is this a long-term play i don't know i think it's probably you know listen I, I listen to my kids they don't shop there they have a lot of friends they say it's going out of business uh they, they they're starting to get into the toy business i don't know but with no dvds no uh, this is this whole, this is this whole company's business and they lose that sometimes you gotta listen to the kids now see uh sienna be careful of this stock cen this stock right here is a very volatile stock okay you're hearing people listen i'm getting I do follow a lot of people in my industry. They're all talking about it, and I laugh at it because, you know, listen, unless you're a level four trader and you could, make, you could lose $1,000 a day five days in a row, don't trade this stock. And don't come up to me and tell me, oh, but this guy said you could trade options. Listen, if you can't afford to trade the stock, you can't afford to trade options because with options, it's 10 times riskier, okay? So you got to know what the hell you're doing. So in other words, it's a good mover. Um, if you are one of the level four traders in here and up, 
the stock could be up your alley. It's got some nice Fausto flags. It's got it's test. It, it might go all the way to the 44 resistance levels where I'm looking on my level four. I see some resi- uh, big sellers out there, but they got some room. Not not too much, but you know, just be very careful. You got to be more advanced. The big big winner for all of us was the homes. Um, Ken, do you still have it? I don't know if you still have the short. I still I'm still holding on to it. Uh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I love stocks that are rolling at the bottom. You sold it. You took the money. Okay, good. No problem. I still, I'm still holding on to it. I think it's still, it looks like it's, uh, I see this buyer out here. Where is he? Uh, he, he was out there at 10 71. I'm not seeing him out there anymore. You know, it looks like he's gone. There was a big order out there for about 6,000 shares, a buyer, and I don't see him out there anymore. So, if, if that's the case, the stock could really take a big dive. So, uh, and by the way, you can always get back in. That's the beauty of it. All right, so you got a pretty good list out here. Listen, we're doing so much better doing shorts than longs. I mean, we did pretty good with the with the Uber, but you know, some of you really it's out of your league, which is okay. You know, you'll get there. Um, listen, you could have shorted. GameStop was pretty easy. Uh, PCG was good going into the close, but that could get a little nasty once in a while. It's got a big spread. But the shorts have we been doing a lot better. Listen, some some weeks are good for shorts. Some weeks are better to go longs. Right now, we're doing pretty good with the shorts. Oh, there you go. Boom. Did I tell you? He got executed. Look at it. Just dropped to 1050. All right. I'm about to give myself a little pat on the back on that one. See that? Beautiful. <laughs> is that a surprise or is that people like, oh, you just got lucky? You know what? It's all skill. It's all skill. Look at that. 35. Beautiful. Love that. Hey, good job. All right, guys. Listen, let's get ready for the open. We got about uh, 15 minutes. Still, It's still early, so if you missed the pre-market, there's always tomorrow. That's what we do train for. Um, like I said, though, our main goal is early bird gets the money, so try to always get here early. I'm, I'm here at 745, so see you guys just rolling in uh, out of bed right now. But that's okay. Listen. We always did. If you if you rolled in yesterday and you got the game side, you still could have shorted it and still did well. Just uh, just focus on your day's pay. That's all it is. All right, market's not closed. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And oh, before we go, almost forgot. Couple of things. Uh, first of all, don't forget today uh, we got a big big event. We have um, we have our event that goes on today where we do where we uh, you know, get get uh, get new traders at open house. So we got a lot, you know, once again, if you know anybody out there, you want to learn, you want to tell us to tell them, teach them a little bit about level three and, and the, uh, the philosophy behind cyber trade university, just make sure you're there. And also it's always great for you guys to be there because you always learn something new. Number one, number two, it's just great to hear it and see what the people actually have to say in chat. Because remember we were them a long time ago and just makes you appreciate, uh, where you were and where you are now. All right, guys. So good luck. I'll see you all there at 12 o'clock. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.